Honorable Minister Sri Chayan Sina and the dignitaries on the ties, Mr. Paijun Putia, the football star of India, Anilji, Ravindraji, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters from the Northeast India who are gathered this afternoon. At the outset, I would like to express my deep gratitude to the organizers of the Northeast Students Festival, the first of its kind in Delhi today. I take this opportunity to uh, compliment my home India under the leadership of Sunil Teotarji, who has just gone for the meeting. I must say thank you so much for giving me the honor to share the tie with the most respected minister, Rajna Singhji, Home Minister, who is also the Chairman Northeastern Council, and also very, very respected minister, Sri Chayam Sina. Friends, India is a country of multiculture, multi-religion, multi-languages. I think that is the beauty of India. This afternoon, I would like to share with you some of the, you know, the social code of ethics, conduct of ethics of the Northeast people. In Mizoram, it is called Dlomaina. Dlomaina, which our social ethics says that it is service to others above oneself. This Lomaina is practiced in almost every tribe community of Northeast India. In my mother tongue, it is called Shinghan Changhan. So my friends, brothers and sisters from Northeast India, you have come to Delhi as students, maybe as employees. You must display this long line, the social conduct of ethics of Northeast India in Delhi. Don't forget, you are the ambassador of your community, of your tribe here in Delhi. Show your long line the social conduct of ethics of the Northeast people. I believe today is also student, Northeast student festival, come freshers meet. So may I also welcome to all the fresher students who have come to study to Delhi, one of the greatest cities in the world. I think today you have crossed a threshold you open a new chapter in your life. You must go back with something in your village, in your town, in your state. And I must compliment my home India for organizing such a beautiful afternoon, the student, the first of its kind, student festival of Northeast India, which also coincides the greatest icon of Northeast India, Pupen Hazarika, Bharat Ratna Pupen Hazarika. I shall not take too much of your time. Everybody want to see the cultural program. So, at the end, I would like to share with you some of the contribution made by the people of Northeast India to our great country, India. You know, the first freedom fighter of India was from Kasi Hills, U Tirot Singh, the chief Siam of Nongklao. He was the first to raise the banner of freedom. In 1829, in 1829, at last he was captured by the British and he was exiled in Bangladesh, where he spend his last days of 
of his life. The freedom towards was picked up by another freedom fighter from Jindia Hills, Ugenba Unangba, in 1832. Thereafter, the torch of freedom was picked up by in Manipur, Bir Tikendra Singh, in 1890, together with General Thangal and General Pauna. They were ultimately caught and executed on the bank of river Nangpur on 13 August 1891, which is uh, observed today in Manipur as a patriot state. Thereafter, the freedom torch was again picked up by a young Naga man, Chatona from Demenglong. He was also captured by the Britishers. He was hanged to death on the bank of Nambo River on 29 August 1929. And the torch was picked up by his niece, Rani Kaikiyu, who was jailed for 14 years. She spent the best of her life in jail for 14 years. Only when India got independent, the Prime Minister Jawala Nehru released her from the jail and she was given the title, the Rani of the Nagas. Even after independence, you know, the most beautiful corner of India, Tawang, was never part of India. It was ruled by the Lamas of Tibet till 1951. It was occupied by a tribe man of my place, Major Paul Cutting, 6 February 1951, with the help of a battalion of Assam rifles. Major Paul Cutting, he occupied Tawang. Today, Tawang is part of India, thanks to my tribe man, Major Paul Cutting. These are some of the contributions of the Northeast India. I shall not take too much of your time. I, I want to close by thanking my home India for inviting me and for organizing such a beautiful afternoon program. And uh, I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. Jai Hind.